Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Today you find me in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and I'm standing on the site of the arsenal that was here during the Civil War period that was destroyed by General Sherman. Behind me is the 1897 Edgar Allan Poe House. Now this is not the Edgar Allan Poe that you and I all know the pit and the pendulum, the raven and all that. This is a different Edgar Allan Poe. This was the Edgar Allan Poe that made bricks. He had this house built from the plans from a Sears catalog, believe it or not. We are going to go inside for a tour and we'll get started right after this station identification. the difference in the temperature when you get up on the porch? Poe was a jug maker. He started out making jugs for people to use in their homes. And then he discovered the make, making of bricks. And when he started making bricks, bricks were used to fireproof the houses downtown. Bricks were transported and exported out. It put Fayetteville on the map. So you see the shuttered door there? That's the door that Mr. Poe would use to enter and exit the house. That's his door. The door here on the side was for family and friends. Friends, friends, the family and friends. And that's the door that they would enter. When, when you come in the door, take a good sniff and you're going to be smelling heartland pine wood. Once we're in the house, after you enter, you won't smell it anymore. For you. And what Mrs. Poe would do when you came in this for you, she would say, welcome to my house. May I have your calling card so that I can repay the visit to you? And you will put your calling card, and then one day she would come and visit your home, just like you came and visited hers. You are, see, you're real smart now. I'm going to watch you. I'm smart. Victorian-style furniture, Victorian-style setup throughout the house. Now, in this room, this is the formal room. This is like your living room at your house, or, and, and this room had three funerals and three weddings. The three older girls got married in this room and Mr. Poe, uh, one of his daughters, and one of his daughters-in-law were laid to rest in this room. All right, let's look at some of the Victorian style setup. You see the round table? It's round. That means the only things that's held at this table are formal affairs like teas, or little meetings and stuff. We don't play no cards on this table. You don't. Now that tiling, the same man that made that tiling made cemetery markers. And he came down from the north and he had this tool. So Mr. Poe used different workers who could do different things. This ceiling is in the Evans Metropolitan Church downtown. It has the identical ceiling and it has Poe brick also. They heated the room with a cold fireplace. Now, oh, have a good time in this room. Well, we can't do it over there because we have to be real good over there. But over here we can have fun because this is the sitting room. Guess what? They didn't have a television, but they had a thing called a stereoscope. A stereoscope is where two pictures become one. So this was their entertainment. Now we're in the family part of the house. That was the company part of the house. How did I know that was the company? The big rug. Where is the big rug here? No big rug. There's a tiny rug right beside the bed, so when I get up, I don't have to put my feet on the cold floor. But in here, you see there's no big room. You wouldn't have come in this, in this room if the poles were still here. Adults, you remember the green shuttered door? Cover all of this, you couldn't show nothing. You had to be all covered up just like him. And, and because that was sort of against the rule to show that. So they had to put stuff like that. Uh, well, I'll tell you. You gotta go to the bathroom at night. You don't wanna go out here. You go in there. 
Where is it? Ew. I know it's coming. Where is it? You holding it back. Ew. Well, guess what? The po children would say the same thing if they came to your house and you said, oh, here's the bathroom. Put your babies and your little kids so the older kids will be here and the babies will be over there in the crib. And there's their walker, their hobby horse for the boys, a baby carriage for the girls. And what in the world is that? The bath for the babies. Wow, you like it up here? It's high up, isn't it? Original Poe furniture. See all of that. Now, Mrs. Poe would put some of her furniture upstairs, and then when she was ready to switch out, they would go over the banister and let them down and then bring the other ones up. And then the, the other furniture would be brought up here. Curio. This beautiful home is from the Elizabethan period. Yeah, you know, where everybody dressed like Queen Elizabeth. Well, it's pretty neat. And all the furnishing inside, well, most of the furnishing inside is from the Poe family. The last surviving Poe, Lizzie Poe, lived here for 90 something years. As I said, the Edgar Allan Poe House, or the 1897 Poe House, is built at what they call Arsenal Park on the remains of the Fayetteville Arsenal, where during the Civil War they made rifles and ammunition. Here's some of the remains of that. Some of the arsenal in the 1830s, 1837, 38, was right now where a uh, busy freeway is. And there is a footbridge leading across. This is the forging and casting in the Smith shops from 1839 to 1842. These stones outline the foundations of the two shops. The Smiths and the forging and castings, these shops were built simultaneously between 1839 and 1842. During the Confederate occupation, the shops along with the engine house were the central areas for repairing and modernizing the rifled muskets. This is called the ghost tower. This is the site of the original Northwest Tower was built between 1839 and 40. It served as the facility's temporary office. This is a drawing from Harper's Weekly, a northern magazine. As it looked in April the 1st, 1865, before General Sherman's arrival and destruction, and all through the park, there are little piles of rubble where the arsenal buildings once was. Someone walking their dog over there. Well, that is going to do it for our trip to Fayetteville, North Carolina, and our visit to the Edgar Allan Poe House. Pretty neat house. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, y'all have a good day.